Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, our uh, today's topic uh, belongs to uh, the portion of uh, animal nutrition and feed technology uh, aspect of uh, animal uh, vendry. Uh, in this, uh, I mean, uh, lecture, I will try to explain the difference between uh, the monogastric and uh, ruminants. So uh, we can say that this is a, uh, I mean, uh, introduction to monogastric animals and uh, ruminant animals. Um, and definitely the uh, digestive proce uh, process or digestive physiology of these two uh, different, I mean, uh, type of uh, animals. So in this uh, lecture, I will be uh, explaining you or giving you a brief introduction and after that I will elaborate the monogastric digestive system and then the ruminant digestive system. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> <coughs> The digestive system of animals is involved in the mechanical and chemical digestion of food or feed, absorption of nutrients, and the elimination of indigestible materials from the body. Uh, the main difference between monogastric and uh, ruminant digestive system is that the digestion in the monogastric digestive system it mainly occurs in the stomach, whereas the digestion in uh, the ruminant digestive system is a four gut fermenter type digestion. Uh, the monogastric uh, digestive system is composed of a single stomach, while uh, the ruminant digestive system is composed of four stomachs. So monogastric digestive system mainly uh, occur in uh, omnivores and carnivores. So let's just uh, I mean, discuss the difference. Uh, here I have taken an example from monogastric <coughs> system and one from uh, ruminant system. And uh, for uh, monogastrics, uh, uh, you can also understand the digestive physiology from chicken digestive system too, because chicken is also uh, have been categorized in the category of monogastric animal. So uh, if we see uh, the monogastric digestive system, uh, it refers to the organ system, which helps the uh, digestion of both animal and plant materials. Uh, I mean, definitely we are uh, eating uh, both type of uh, food materials that is uh, uh, based on whether it is based on uh, plants and animals both. So it is also called as a uh, uh, monogastric since the I mean, digestive uh, system is composed of a stomach, single stomach. Uh, see, uh, we have only a uh, stomach, single stomach. Uh, human, horse, swine, fowl, dog, and rabbit-like animals, they all have a monogastric digestive uh, uh, system. This system is basically composed of a mouth, esophagus, this one, and a stomach, then stomach, a small and large intestine. Uh, here is a, a small intestine, and then comes the, the larger intestine, and then is the anus. So these are the basic components of the digestive system of monogastrics. Uh, the digestion begins with the entering of food into the mouth. Uh, both chemical and mechanical digestion, they starts at the mouth. So because, uh, you know, uh, food is mixed with saliva and saliva contains enzymes to uh, digest carbohydrates. Then uh, esophagus, which is here, is a tube. Um, it's the passage that leads to food to the stomach. Yes, start from here and then comes it here. Uh, various enzymes are secreted into the 
lumen of the stomach to digest proteins in the food. The human digestive system is shown in, in figure below. Uh, here it's uh, like you can see Animals with a monogastric uh, uh, digestive system, they mainly take animal tissues as, as food. So their diet is easy to uh, digest. The single stomach is enough for the purpose. Small intestine, this one, uh, mainly absorbs the nutrients from the digestive food. And large intestine, it absorbs water from the indigestible materials. So the elimination of indigestible materials, it occurs uh, through the uh, through anus. So uh, here you can see at uh, one uh, apex of the large intestine is the appendix. Um, and this whole green and then this portion, it is large intestine. And in between these, the, the, the area is, uh, has been covered by its small intestine. So all the food materials or in uh, nutrients are absorbed in a small intestine, which is in solid form. And uh, uh, the watery portion is being absorbed in large intestine and definitely the indigestible materials, they, uh, uh, I mean, uh, eliminate, they are being eliminated through this anus portion. If we, I mean, uh, uh, talk about the ruminant digestive system, the ruminant digestive system, it refers to the organ system in which the digestion of plant materials occur. And uh, which animals or uh, species are ruminants? Cow, buffalo, sheep, deer, and goat are the examples of the, uh, the animals having a ruminant digestive system. <clears throat> the top jaw of ruminant animals lacks teeth in the front but instead a hard pad of skin is present, which is called the dental pad. Uh, other than the basic anatomy of an animal digestive system, uh, the ruminant digestive system, it's composed of four stomachs, uh, you can see here, and I'm, I'll be discussing uh, soon. So uh, the ruminant digestive system is composed of four stomachs. They are human, uh, here it's rumen, and then comes uh, a reticulum, a rumen reticulum, uh, then comes uh, omasum. It's a small portion above the abomasum. So uh, here it's abomasum. So four stomachs, or uh, I would say four stomachs name is, what one, uh, rumen, reticulum, omasum, and abomasum. And here is an F esophagus, which comes from the mouth, is connected to with the mouth through a tube portion. And um, from this abomasum, uh, small intestine is, I mean, uh, it's originating. So uh, um, if we say the first three stomachs, that is uh, the rumen, the, the, the reticulum and the omasum, they are involved in, in breaking down of, uh, of plant fibers. And the, 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 the population of microflora is involved in this process. It breaks down cellulose through fermentation, producing volatile fatty acids. And volatile fatty acids like um, acetate, butyrate, and propionates. And these fatty acids are uh, utilized by the cow as a nutrient. So digestive enzymes are secreted in the fourth stomach, that is abomism. Uh, therefore, fermentation occurs before the, the digestion of food in ruminant animals. Hence, this process is called foregut fermentation. Because you see, rumen, reticulum, and abomasum are the foregut portions of this uh, four stomach uh, or the rumen digestive system. And um, abomasum actually um, uh, uh, has the digestive enzymes. So, <clears throat> The four stomachs of the ruminant uh, digestive system, we can see here. I am repeating again and again because these things are very important for future understanding of animals, physiology and uh, different phenomena, which are especially from biochemistry point of view. Uh, <clears throat> 
furthermore uh, uh, ruminant animals they chew the partly digested food or cut by returning them from the first stomach so the first stomach is rumen so animals first of all uh, they 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 chew the uh, some of the food they they ingest and then they take this food is the food is taken here in this portion and is stored type of storage so <clears throat> then uh, whenever and it also drinks some water and all the food is stored here after when the animal uh, ingests uh, or it feels that uh, it has reached to a special feeling uh, 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 or effect or it feels that i am full then uh, it will start to cut the uh, material which it it has already ingested or it's stored in rumen so uh, 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 i can say that uh, this food or material which is stored here it's returned to again to the mouth and it is it is again cut so <clears throat> if we talk about small intestine and large intestine of cows actually they are similar to monogastric digestive system however um uh, the uh, ruminants uh, uh, have a large cecum for further digestion of the fibers so let's uh, summarize and uh, discuss the similarities and differences between um monogastrics and ruminants uh both monogastric and ruminant digestive systems they are involved in the digestion of food absorption of nutrients and elimination of indigestible material so basic physiology is almost same except for the compartments of uh, of uh, stomach <clears throat> both digestive system they comprise of teeth mouth esophagus stomach small and a large intestine so these two are basically the similarities between monogastrics and ruminant ruminants and uh, the differences let's discuss the differences between monogastrics and uh, ruminants monogastric digestive system it refers to the organ system in which the digestion of both animal and plant materials occur this is the first difference that uh, uh, the uh, uh, monogastrics uh, they use uh, plant and and animal materials both whereas the digestion of only plant materials it occurs in uh, in ruminants uh what about uh, the the next uh monogastrics or digestive system is found in omnivores and carnivores but this uh, ruminant uh, ruminant uh, or uh, digestive system it is found only in herbivores or i would say that uh, uh if we talk about uh, uh, monogastrics they can eat plants material and uh, they can also uh, use uh, uh, animal uh, materials so <clears throat> they can be uh, uh, omnivores and carnivores only meat eaters or meat and plant eaters both so <clears throat> if we talk about uh, monogastrics adapted to digest both plant and animal materials and but this one adapted to digest only plant materials um if we talk about the length of the uh, uh, digestive system the length of the monogastric uh, digestive system is short while uh, the digestive system of the ruminants is uh, large or long so <clears throat> the monogastric animals uh, or digestive system it secretes enzymes to digest proteins whereas uh, um in case of uh, ruminants it lacks uh, enzymes to digest proteins uh here are uh, if we talk about the mouth or teeth structure so monogastrics they comprise four sharp canines whereas um in case of ruminants only two canines are present uh in case of uh, monogastrics premolars and molars move in the vertical direction vertical direction and but in case of uh, um ruminants uh, premolars and molars move in lateral direction I and mean, you may have seen a uh, difference that they do not move up and down uh, their their mouth is not doesn't move up and down they move uh, i mean in the lateral direction 
so in case of uh, uh, if it's monogastric especially the human a human it produces 1 to 1.5 liters of saliva per day but uh, a cow produces uh, 65 liters of saliva per day so it's a huge difference in the volume of the saliva production um <clears throat> in case of monogastric saliva contains carbohydrate digestive enzymes and the same uh, 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 if we in the same perspective if we see the ruminants they lack carbohydrate digestive enzymes uh, in case of uh, i mean uh, uh, monogastrics they have no regurgitation whereas uh, in this case this food which is stored in in the, in the one portion of the of the ruminant system or four compartments one of the four compartments it is again uh, taken back in the mouth and and uh, i mean uh, uh, cut so this is there is a regurgitation during digestion um it's a simple stomach and uh, it's a complex rumen contains a stimulus single stomach here and here are four stomachs and uh, um stomach basically uh, it contains four stomachs but single uh, stomach is present here so we can see in the first three portion rumen reticulum and omism uh, they uh, they do the fermentation process uh, and uh, as a result of which uh, volatile fatty acids are produced i have already told you and and at the end the digestive enzymes are secreted in abomism which is linked with small intestine and then lead towards the large intestine and uh, then to the anus so <clears throat> that was the basic uh, uh, of uh, digestive uh, physiology of monogastric animals i hope you may have understood the whole uh, digestive physiology of both categories thank you very much